Hello, it's Matthew here, and we're going to look at question three, which is an applied arithmetic 30 mark question. So we have to work out Joe's net annual income. We're given his gross annual income of 27,500 euro. The first thing to point out is the difference between gross and net income. So basically, gross is just before tax has been deducted, and net is after tax has been deducted. So we need to work out how much tax Joe has to pay and take that away from his gross annual income and the answer will be his net annual income. So in this question, there are two tax rates. We have the 20% rate and the 40% rate. So you pay tax of 20% on any income up to 35,300 euro. As Joe's income is below this, that means that he's only gonna pay tax at the 20% rate. So basically, if Joe earned more than 35,300, the amount above 35,300 that he earned would be taxed at 40%. You'll see this later on in the question. But for this question, we'll only be using the 20% tax rate. So Joe earns 27,500 euro each year, and he pays tax at 20%. So 27,500 multiplied by 20%. And to get the percentage sign on the calculator, you can just click shift and then the answer button down here. And that should give you the percentage sign. So then click equals to, and we're left with 5,500 euro. Now be careful here, as some people think this is the tax that he has to pay. However, it isn't. At the start of the question, it said that they each have a tax credit of 3,300 euro, and a tax credit reduces the amount of tax that has to be paid. So the majority of people in Ireland at the moment have two tax credits, and they normally equal to somewhere around 3,300 or 3,400 euro, However, you can get extra tax credits if you're visually impaired, a carer, and for a load of other reasons, but the majority of people will only have two, which add up to 3,300 or a similar amount to that. So we can minus 3,300 euro from the amount of tax that Joe should be paying. So we can do 5,500 minus 3,300, and that gives us 2,200, and that's the tax payable for Joe. So now we're going to take 2,200 from 27,500 and that will give us Joe's net annual income. So 27,500 minus 2,200 gives us 25,300. So therefore Joe's net annual income is 25,300 euro. And that's our answer for part A which was worth 10 marks. Now let's have a look at part B. Emile's gross annual income is 43,450 euro. And we're asked to work out Emile's net annual income. So this time, this person is earning above 35,300 euro, which means he's going to be paying tax at 20% and 40% rates. So the first thing we have to do is work out how much tax he'll be paying at each rate. So if we think of it like a number line, and the start of the number line is zero euro, up to the amount Emile earns of 43,450 euro, we can split it into two separate rate bands of 20% and 40%. Now, at the start of the question, it tells us that pay up to 35,300 euro is taxed at 20%. Let's put that around here on our number line. So anything up to 35,300 is taxed at 20%. So that means that first amount there is taxed at 20%. But the balance from 35,300 to 43,450 will be taxed at 40%. So this amount here at 40%. So that means that we can say that 35,300 will be taxed at 20% and the remainder between 35,300 and 43,450 will be taxed at 40%. So first of all, let's work out the difference between 43,450 and 35,300. And that gives us 8,150. So that means that 35,300 will be taxed at 20% and 8,150 will be taxed at 40%. So let's get 20% of 35,300 and 40% of 8,150. And that will give us the tax before tax credits have been taken away. So 35,300 by 20%. And remember to get the percent button, you can click shift and then the answer button. And that's equal to 7,060 euro. So Emile is paying 7,060 euro at the lower rate of 20%. And now we have to work out how much Emile is paying at the higher rate of 40%. So 
So 8,150 by 40% is equal to 3,260. So adding both of those together gives us 10,320. But remember from the previous part of the question, part A, this isn't the tax payable. We have to minus the tax credits first. And it said at the start of the question that they each had a tax credit of 3,300 euro. So we can minus 3,300 from this figure and that will give us the tax payable. So 10,320 minus 3,300 will give us 7,020 euro. And that's the tax payable figure, i.e. that's the amount of tax that Emil has to pay. So now to find Emil's net annual income, we can take his tax payable away from his gross annual income. So it's going to be 43,450 minus 7,020 and 43,450 minus 7,020 is equal to 36,430 euro. And that's Emil's net annual income. So that's worth 10 marks and that was our answer for part B. Now let's have a look at part C. So in part C, Wei wants her net income to increase by 80 euro every month. And the question is asking us how much her gross annual income has to increase by for this to happen. So we're also told that her gross annual income is above 35,300 euro. That means that any additional pay increase will be taxed at 40% at the higher rate of 40%. So the first thing is that she's looking for her net income to increase by 80 euro every month. Let's work out how much that is annually because remember we're working out her gross annual income increase. So to do that we're going to multiply 80 by 12 and 80 by 12 is equal to 960 euro. So that means her net annual income is increasing by 960 euro every year. But the question is looking for her gross annual income increase. So we know that she's paying tax at 40% of whatever the answer is, which means that 960 euro is what's left over. So let me try to visualize that on the screen. So whatever her gross income increases, we have to take away 40% of that. Now we know when we take away 40% of that, we're left with 960 euro. So that means the difference between her gross income increase and 960 euro is 40% of whatever the gross income increase is. So that means that from 960 euro down, the 960 is equal to 60% of the total amount. So we can say that 960 euro is equal to 60%, but we need to work out what 100% is. So there are two ways to do this. You can work out 40% of the total amount and add that on to 960 euro. However, I'm going to do it the simpler way, which is just by saying that 960 euro is equal to 60%. So if I divide 960 by 60, that will give me 1%. So let's try that. And 960 divided by 60 is 16. So that means 16 euro is equal to 1%. So obviously there's a hundred ones in a hundred. So to find a hundred percent, I'm going to multiply 16 by a hundred. So I can multiply my answer by 100. And that gives me 1,600 euro. And that's the gross annual income increase that Wei needs for her net income to increase by 80 euro every month. So that's the answer, 1,600 euro. So that's worth 10 marks. And it's also the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope I helped.